behind the Gloomholm monument? Or is it an obelisk? Or a men here? Or some kind of author stash? Who said? I don't think that will work. I should talk to the shopkeepers. Bjorn! Olafsson! Nelly! Nelly! What are you doing here? Bloomholm is being our home. We are living here as little Bjorns and Olafsons before we are moving away to become traders. How come no one here talks as weird as you? You know, if you're from here. We are talking weirdly. I am thinking you are having yoking on us, Miss Kutelot. Um, yeah, I was having yoking. Cheeky. What are you selling? We are selling a comprehensive range of maritime goods. From anchors, buoys and cannons. To zinc-plated compasses. We still specialize in good old replacement appendages. Hooks, hands and other helpful gadgets. And now we are also offering maritime insurance. Allowing your loved ones to relax while you are drowning at sea. Tell me about this maritime insurance. Of course. What kind of insurance do you offer? Her policies are being perfectly suited to today's seafare. Insuring against shipwreck, drowning, mutiny, keel hauling, tarring, and cannon lash. Sign up today and be receiving any hook from our range. Absolutely free. A free hook, you say? Yeah! Sign me up. Excellent! That will be a monthly fee of two hundred fifty dollars. Oh. Can I pay you at the end of the month? I'm going to be coming into some treasure soon, honest. Pay later? Yeah, got a little treasure flow problem at the mo. This is being very irregular. Please? Okay, we will be offering you parcel cover until you are paying. You may enjoy trial use of our range of hooks. Excellent. But you will not be covered against any kind of volcano death. Never gonna happen. Sign here. So I get to play with the hooks now? Yeah, just to be asking. Tell me about your range of hooks. We would be laughing too. Show me the scuppermatic. With no more than a twist of the wrist. The scuppermatic is penetrating the hull of any vessel. A formidable weapon in battle. It's a corkscrew. Uh, yes, it is also being used to screw corks. Two in one. Would you be liking a trial? Yes. Marvelous. Mmm, the scuppermatic. Hello to you. My name's Nelly. I am Eric Redface, the hunter. Hunter, eh? That's right. I'm not a fan of hunting. Always struck me as farming for the underprepared. A hunter is a man of dignity. Hunting is an ancient and universal art. So is farting. What are you drinking? Now the wind is in the east, I drink mead. I will drink spirits when the wind rises in the west, or when I run out of mead. Spirit, you say? Yes, I have a still out in yon pines. I make my way out there whenever I run low on drink. Oh, really? But before you think of stealing my spirit, you'd be wise to remember there's a monster in those woods. The abominable snowbird. The abominable snowbird? You're just trying to scare me off. I've seen it. Looming figure, gaping maw, blood-curdling cry. A 
Only I know the safe path to the still. Later. Farewell. I don't think they work together. can just make out Eric heading towards his secret still. Time for a spirit. There we go. <laughs> Professor Morgan gave me a packed lunch. I think she feels bad for stowing away. Let's see what we've got here. A sandwich, a flask of water, and Captain Happy's Lucky Sailor Sugar Biscuits. Get in. Dip out the water. Now I'll take a little of the spirit of a huntsman. Uh-oh. It's the abominable snowbird. Hello. Wait a minute. The abominable snowbird has a nasty pine needle stuck in its little paw. I mean, its big penguiny foot. Is that why you're so abominable? Let me get that out for you. Whoa, calm down. Let's get this lit. So, that star sign was Year of the Penguin. That fella is a very large penguin. This is how astrology works, right? Hey, Abominable! Get a whiff of this. It worked! It seems to have calmed and soothed him. Okay then, keep still. There. Do you feel better? Ah! Phew! 